All right, so we have a couple things that I wanna get done today. Uh, primarily, I wanna update the profiles page. Right now it has a lot of static data pulling in from our database like applications, interviews, offers, counts, like that. Uh, what I wanna do is include more dynamic data and visualizations like graphs, like linear graphs or uh, line graphs and stuff like that. Uh, I'm thinking like applications by day or by month. I wanna make it dynamic so you guys can filter it. Uh, I also wanna do like average resume score, uh, things of that nature, you know, so. Uh, that's the plan for today. Let me just show you how it looks like right now. So yeah, right now it looks like this. There's applications, interviews, offers, and this is where I wanna add the graphs. Maybe one more down here. Uh, and these static uh, placeholders might be removed too. So this is the profile page right here. And I also wanna update the home page. Right now the landing page is just a lot of boilerplate text. I need to make it more interactive and more attractive for people to sign up. So. I also need to make a separate page, a home page for users who already have an account. So right now you can see I'm logged in. Uh, this landing page will be for people who are not logged in. Uh, they will not be able to access the applications and resume tab. Uh, only people who are logged in will be able to get to those pages. I want to make uh, the home page for uh, users who are logged in something different. I'm thinking like a forum page, uh, you know, something that they can use to communicate with others who are also looking to land a job. So. Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, today will be mainly front end stuff, uh, just because I want to focus on getting the design aspect done. I think in terms of back end and like uh, the logic needed to get this thing up and running, pretty much everything's done. I just need to connect this to Stripe and add some limits to uh, free tiers and pay tiers. So aside from that, everything should be good. I will give you guys a couple updates on how the back end uh, works. There's been a lot of changes since uh, I last spoke to you, so. Yeah, that's uh, what I want to do later. Um, but right now, I just want to get the profiles page sorted. So I have a tutorial that I'm going to watch and uh, try to follow through. Uh, and I'll catch you guys back in a bit once I have that done. So yeah, stick along. All right, so we made some progress with the graphs, which is really nice. I'm no longer using Prisma as my ORM. Uh, so I'm just querying the data with uh, Supabase on Next.js. And I had to create an RPC to get uh, the specific group by data that I wanted, uh, which is tedious, but it's the only solution I have right now. If you guys have a better alternative, let me know. Essentially what I'm trying to do is group my data, my columns by a specific date time column created at or updated at or you know something like that. Uh, and the only way I could have done it, or the only way I figured out how to do it was through uh, using an RPC uh, with Supabase. So 
Yeah, that's what I've done so far. Right now, I'm gonna focus on the landing page. Uh, I drew up some designs uh, yesterday or the day before, and I'm gonna place them on the screen if I can. Essentially, I need two landing pages or two home pages. one for users who are seeing the website for the first time who do not have an account. Uh, it's just an overview of what this whole app is and how they can use it, uh, who it's for and how it works and stuff like that. And then the second one is for users who are already signed in or already have an account and have used it. I want it to be maybe some sort of forum, maybe some sort of like dashboard. Uh, but then the profiles page is kind of a dashboard, so I don't know. I think maybe I want to incorporate some sort of interactivity where they can talk to uh, the LLMs connected to it so that they can get more personalized feedback. Uh, I'll add on interview questions and cover letters and stuff like that later on. That's not a priority for me right now. That's it's pretty straightforward to add. Uh, but what I do or what I would like to implement is a master file or a master PDF or doc file. Uh, that just lists out all your experience, all your work experience projects, skills, and stuff like that. It's like multiple pages long, it doesn't have to be one page, that uh, is stored in the database based on each user. And each user can update their master file at any given point. And uh, every time you update your resume or you know make a new application, uh, we take that master file into context or use that too on top of the resume. So that if, uh, so right now what it, what it does, it suggests bullet points that you can change, missing requirements, job requirements that are not on your resume and stuff like that, and gives you a detailed analysis on the end. What I would like to do is pull uh, bullet points that are not on your resume that could be on your resume based on that master file. Uh, so yeah, that's something I would like to implement and I think that's the next big thing that I But for right now, I'm just trying to get the project out there so that you guys can use it. Uh, it's all live and published, but I don't wanna release everything just yet just because we don't have any sort of uh, restrictions like right now anyone can create an account and go ahead and apply for as many or track as many jobs as they want or test it as many times as they want which is bad because i'm still incurring costs so i need to figure out a way to connect stripe to accept payments and also restrict or, or implement some sort of role-based uh access control rbac i think uh so yeah that's a couple of things that i need to get done but right now my focus is just landing page but yeah that's about it oh yeah the back end so uh before i forget uh, this whole app started off with just a uh, simple Python Flask app and uh, keyword matching algorithm on the back end and uh, slowly progressed to use OpenAI's API and now it's using a couple other LLMs and also a keyword matching algorithm. It's using weighted averages to give you a score and I found that different LLMs and different algorithms give you uh, better answers for specific sections like uh, if your skill section is weak or if your resume format is weak or if your overall resume is weak different LLMs or different algorithms have a better approach to giving you feedback. So I'm using a weighted average right now for the score and uh, specific algorithms, specific LLMs have a say or a higher weightage for different sections. So that's what I'm using for the backend right now. Hopefully that will give you a better understanding. Uh, my goal is to make a whole demo video about how this whole thing works and uh, how you can use it uh, when this thing is live and ready. So yeah, that's the short and skinny. Uh, but right now I want to get back to coding this landing page and making sure that it works for all types of screen sizes. I have a couple screen sizes that I can test on my network page. So uh, yeah, that's the goal for right now.
so we got what I wanted to get done today. Uh, the profiles page is done. The landing page is better. Let's just say that. It's never going to be perfect, but it's good enough for me to focus on other things. Uh, what I do need to do now is get role-based access control done and set up Stripe. I got some work on the RBAC done. I just need to figure out a way to create a trigger or a function to uh, you know, assign roles on sign up so that uh, every user is defaulted to either the free tier or if they sign up with a paid account, then they go to the paid tier. And then I also need to create Stripe card, payment cards, and um, figure out a way to handle disputes. Not that I'm expecting disputes, I just know that's a pain in the ass. So uh, that's something I need to figure out. I know there are services like a Byte Dispute, if I'm not wrong, that I could use. And also invoices from Stripe is something I want to figure out. Also, it's hot as balls out today, which uh, I'm not complaining, but it's new for the spring. I guess it is entering summer. So yeah, that's that's what I'm ready to do next. Uh, I'm going to cut this video short because I feel like the past few videos have been longer and I want to make sure uh, I have time to edit this and get it out on time. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do later today and tomorrow. And then this video will be out sometime later tomorrow. So uh, thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully this will be out in the next month. Again, I don't know. Uh, I will let you guys know when it's closer to getting ready. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in using this, please leave a comment down below. I, I would like to get some test user out, users out there. Right now, it's just been friends and family and uh, people who are interested. So if you reach out to me via email or if you just leave a comment down below, I'll reach out to you or send you a link that you can use to access it uh, and you know play around, mess, mess about and find some bugs and let me know. So yeah, uh, thank you guys again for watching. Right now, I noticed that the V1 that I uh, launched with... Uh, Python Anywhere, it's a Flask app, it's a very basic keyword matching algorithm, had over 2,000 users in a month, so it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I think that sets some expectation for what this is going to look like, and um, because of that, I need to really prepare in terms of handling volume, uh, so that's something I'm nervous about. If you guys have any advice on how to do that, I'd love to you know get your take. And also, if you guys have any advice on how to set up Stripe and also do the RBAC, Love to hear your take too. So yeah, leave them down below. Uh, anyways, thank you guys again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. As always, I'll see you in the next one.